My grandfather came to Montreal from Russia around the year 1919 as we know it and he looked for a job as a bagel baker at that time and there were no bagel bakeries in the city of Montreal. So he did the next best thing, he opened up the first bagel bakery here in Montreal on St. Lawrence at the back of a lane just south of Schwartz's. The way we make our bagel is the same way that they've been made for the last hundred years. Our grandfather, who came here in 1919 and opened up the first bagel bakery, had a particular recipe and certain modalities and traditions that he used to make the bagel, and he taught those to our father. And when we came into the business, we learned those traditions, techniques from our father, and we still do them exactly as they were taught to us. So any bagel that you're going to eat here today is going to be the same in terms of consistency, quality, taste, ingredients, manufacturing style as it was a hundred years ago when my grandfather was making them. So this is our mixer where we make our dough. This is no different than it would have been a hundred years ago because we did have electricity at that time and the bagel mixers are pretty much the same style as they've always been. So we'll put all our ingredients into the mixer with the flour and then we'll turn it on and mix the dough up. The dough is brought onto the table and then we cut strips of dough and then these strips are rolled into bagel one at a time. I'm the old guy that used to do it. <laughs> so what we do is we start by pressing down on the dough, joining in with the other hand, fold it over halfway, close it, toss it off and start the next one. I take the dough, I press down evenly with both hands. I start with one hand, I join in with the other. And when I have enough, enough dough to make the bagel, I'll fold it over, I'll snap it off, I'll close it, and I'll start my next one at the same time. So now that we've rolled enough bagel for the next batch, what we do is we throw them inside the water. So we'll pick them up 12 at a time, careful not to stretch them, and put them into the water. The third 12, the fourth 12, and two for good luck. And the reason we have honey in our water is so that the bagel will have a little bit of a shine when they come out of the oven. Bread is made differently. We can't bake, you can't cook bread before you bake it because the texture of the flour is too soft. But the bagel dough is a very tough dough, so we need to cook the bagel before we bake them. Well, there are people who have tried to make bagel and who do make bagel in other places and they find that they can't replicate the taste. And what they've narrowed it down to is the water. I don't know necessarily if that's actually true. There are so many little things that we still do in the process of making our bagel that no other bakeries are doing that I wouldn't be able to say for certain that it's only the water that's different that's giving you a different taste of your bagel. It, it could be order of ingredients, type of ingredients, temperature of ingredients, temperature of water, temperature of oven. There are many different aspects to baking the bagel, making the bagel. So people that have tried and have not been successful have said it was the water.